Bible is saying this. I said, people, great men who have made much impact, they don't sleep when others are sleeping. They don't eat breakfast. They break their fast. It's called breakfast. So they break their fast. You won't wake up early in the morning and start eating food. No. You have to give yourself training. You have to strain your flesh to conform to your spirit so that you keep moving. So the flesh will tell you, do not go anywhere. Sleep. Relax. Watch the television. The flesh will tell you, chat with folks. That's what the flesh will tell you. It will keep you in bondage. Break out from flesh. You are more powerful than the flesh. Break out. Discipline it. Put it where it belongs. It will obey you. Hallelujah. You know, when I started praying, I'll pray three hours. I'll be tired. Four hours. Then I'll lay and I started praying five hours, ten hours every day. Fifteen hours. I was giving there speaking in other tongues. But when I come out, I'll be smoking. In crusade, demons will be crying out. Disease will be disappearing. Sickness will be disappearing. Sick will be getting here. Why? Because I prepared for it. Hallelujah. God give anointing. But you have to develop it. Ministers have laid hand on you. Remember what Paul told Timothy. He said, neglect not the gift that was, that was given to you by the laying hand of the presbytery. Develop it. You need to develop it. God won't help you. You're going to help yourself. But God will help you improve it. Because he's the vine. He are the branches. And the father is the husband man. Anyone that bear fruit, he prunes. He help you decorate it. He help you garnish it. So garnish your life. Garnish your gifting. Garnish your ministry. Make it a public show. Make it a world tourist. A tourist attraction. Make it. Be unique that people will pay money to come and see you. Solomon was the wisest man on earth. Though God gave him wisdom, but he improved himself. Kings, queens, everybody will, will come to, to, to listen to Solomon's wisdom. So this is it. This is the reason why we need training in all of this. Hallelujah. We should go beyond the fleshly realm. And I said this, find that treasure inside of you, bring it out, make it work. It is going to require, oh my God, thank you Holy Spirit. It's going to require a boss who is utterly ruthless. Listen, I said it's going to require a boss, a boss who is utterly ruthless. And, the, and you are the boss. That can rule over you and over your flesh. There's a slave driver in there you must bring out. Put a whip in your hand. Tell him to go and eat it. Go and make you successful. What am I saying? Put a whip in your hand. Tell yourself, I'm going to tell the flesh, no, I'm going to do this. Flesh, you're going to obey me. I'm going to spend 10 hours studying the scripture. My pastor, my father, Apostle Joe Yoribe, always tell me. He says, son, I spent 8, 10 hours studying the Bible every day. When he's opened his mouth, I will close my ears. Because I say, Lord, where am I? I'm not doing anything. It keeps me challenged. So I start developing myself in studying the Bible. He will inspire me. So you're going to tell yourself, you're going to spend so and so time in studying. Instead of you browsing social network, whatever, or, or, or tweeting, or, 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 or chatting with friends, what do you do? You spend time. You develop yourself. Browse information on the net. Because you know you are up for the next level. Because people who are current, those are the people that hold currency. Hallelujah. When you are not current, you can't hold currency. Amen. <laughs> and people who are hard, that can hold hard currency. Hallelujah. When you are hard in your daily affair, you hold hard currency. Amen. You will be so se- you will be selling that men will be looking for you. I saw Michael Jackson on stage. People were fainting. They were collapsing because they just seen Michael Jackson. I said, wow. What's in him? 
he gave himself training he was dedicated to himself dedicated dedicated to his passion so you need to be dedicated to your passion you need to be dedicated to what you are good at you need to get yourself more training so that you can come out uniquely so that the world will look for your type people will start mimicking you why is it that you are the one mimicking people why is it that people are not mimicking you people are not trying to pattern their life after you because you are not making any impact you see so you need to get up there train spend time tell yourself i am not moving not only i achieve this and you go to shine when you achieve that will be the only thing that men will be looking out for so you need to bring it out you need to be rude you need to be ruthless you need to be very harsh on the flesh beat it and said no today we are not eating today we're going to spend so and so time studying today we're going to do this today we're going to do that today we're going to get new innovation today i'm going to brainstorm you tell your flesh you will obey you because you're servant hallelujah do not ye to be servant to the flesh because they say you in you and that you in you that will shine the flesh is your casing and guess what when you are shining the flesh will take the glory pride to come in because that's fleshy <laughs> amen so that's the more reason that we need to prepare. People get to the top. It's not about getting to the top. It's sustaining the top. People can't manage the top because they are not ready. They are not trained. Hallelujah. So this is the time for us to be trained. Amen. And I said, learn and make up your mind. To sacrifice today to gain tomorrow is very important. The Bible says, Jesus said, except a corn of wheat die, it abided alone. So when he died, he brings up forth, forth much fruit. There was only one Jesus on earth. The devil killed him. He died and on the cross, buried, resurrected and ascended. Guess what happened? A lot of Jesus is appeared. They emerge. If he has not died, he will probably be the only one. He will have been the only one who is doing the miracle, healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out devils, and he will die, and everybody will. Okay, and that's the end. He will be the only one. But when he died, a lot of Jesus arose. Scripture was fulfilled. Savior shall arise from Zion. And here's me, here's you. Glory to God. So we need to get training. In the field, we need to get training. Do not be... Uh, a boss who do not have control over his subject. You have control over your body. Come out. Be prepared for this. Do this. You can. And I know you're going to do it. The best in you is shining. The best in you is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. John chapter 12 verse 24. Except the corn of wheat died, it abides alone. But if it died, it brings forth much fruit. King James Version. So as we start this year, become studious. And follow whatever God has called you to do and be the best in it. Be the best. Get that training. Moses got a training. Daniel got a training. Paul got a training. You too can get a training. And God is willing to train you. He's willing to make a success out of it. Hallelujah. There are dreams in your heart. Get training then. Bring it to a light. Don't stay there. You know, people always say, by this time next year, if you see me, but they are not doing anything. There is a price to pay. Pay that price and you will be shiny. I read Ben his book, I shared tears. He said he told he fellowship for 14 hours. When he was young, I said, wow. I keep challenge. And I started breaking it. I started breaking ground. Breaking ground. I broke all the fallow ground. And I can flow effortlessly in prayer, in studying, in everything I lay my hand to do. Glory to God.
And I want to tell you today, this is the time for you to prepare for your tomorrow. Prepare for it. And you will be glad you did. I want to hear testimonies from you. I want to um, get comment. Tell me how to improve. Tell us, send us an email. Check our blog. And uh, check us on Facebook, Mercy Wealth Ministries. And uh, check us on, uh, on our blog, MercyWealthMinistries.blogspot.com. And send us an email, MercyWealthMinistries. And uh, I'll be glad to receive your email. I will read them and I will uh, follow your suggestions. And. Uh, and do the best that we can do. Thank you very much for listening to my program. And God bless you.